Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch. In this video, we're going to go ahead and check out Gamer Hacks Host. He did update it to version 2.5. It does have the latest exploit updates as well as the offline and online payloads. So we'll go ahead and just jump right into the video here. We'll go over to our settings. You can see that I don't have goal 10 options as well as I don't have the debug settings. So we'll go into our network and we'll just go ahead and check connect to the internet. Once that is done, we can go ahead and back out of there and launch our browser. Go ahead and just close out that first window. Go ahead and delete all that's in our frequently used pages. And then we'll go into our browser history and clear that as well. And then finally, we'll go into our settings and delete our cookies and clear our website data. We'll go into our bookmarks, and I already have it bookmarked here, so we'll go ahead and select it. Give it a few moments here to install the cache. It doesn't take long at all. As you can see, it is going pretty quick. There's 70, 80%, and 100%. So we're good to go. We'll go ahead and just hit our PlayStation button. Now you can disconnect from the internet, but for the video, I'll just go ahead and relaunch our browser. And then we're gonna go with Goal 10 2.0 B2. So we'll go ahead and select it. Give it a few moments here to pop up the message to insert our USB. Shouldn't take too long, any moment now. There we go. Go ahead and insert our USB. And we'll just wait for the message to pop up on supported file system. Okay, so there's our unsupported file system. We can go ahead and hit OK. Okay, payload loaded. We can go ahead and unplug our USB as we won't need it anymore. And then we'll go ahead and hit OK. Okay, we'll ignore the memory error message at the end. So we'll go ahead and hit our PlayStation button. Go over to our settings. We do have the Goal 10 options now. We can scroll down. We do also have the debug settings. Okay, so let's go ahead and just back out of there. I will show you what else we can do. We can go into our browser again. And if we go down to the bottom here, uh, we select here to load the other page. All your game mods or mod menus do come up, as well as the Linux mods. Um, they're all there as well. So let's go ahead and just return to the main page. Go ahead and hit our PlayStation button. We'll go over to our Goal 10 options. Go ahead and enable our FTP, just to show you that it does work, as well as our bin loader server. Both do come up and they do work. So we'll go ahead and hit our PlayStation button. We will launch our browser again. Now I'm unsure if the payloads use the uh, bin loader server or if they do the jailbreak each time. So let's go ahead and just test that out now. Go ahead and load Orbis's toolbox. Okay, it doesn't seem to load right away, so it probably does do the jailbreak each time. Um, we just gotta wait for it to finish the jailbreak and then it should launch the payload. And there we go. Okay, and then we get the memory error after. Okay, let's go ahead and launch another one. Let's try FTP just to give it a go. Okay, it should load any moment now. There we go. Go ahead and hit OK. FTP is running. Let's go ahead and launch the bin loader server. Okay, not enough memory. Um, yeah, okay. Let's go ahead and just back out of here. We can see that our Orbis's toolbox did load. Our settings sh should be up and we should be good to go with anything on there. I'm gonna leave the video at that, guys. You guys can go ahead and check out the host. If you're using GamerHacks host, um, go ahead and just update it to the latest version, so that way you have the latest exploit as well. Um, but yeah, if you did like the video, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.